Medics see it all when they rescue people in distress, but one paramedic union leader is in distress himself. As NBC 30's Doug Green reports, he's worried about government budget cuts where it will really hurt. Looking at this 120-year-old firehouse, you can see why a public official might say closing it could be a good way to save money. But don't tell that to the head of the union of the EMTs and paramedics. That is something that is extremely upsetting to our union members as the city of Meriden only has five firehouses and all the engines are constantly running on fire calls and medical emergencies. He represents 200 EMTs and paramedics at Hunter's Ambulance in Meriden. He doesn't think Central Connecticut can afford to give up any first responders. They get there with basic first aid equipment and automatic external defibrillator. They can do the, the first couple minutes of life-saving care. They can deliver and they get there very often before the ambulance gets there. Usually within a minute or two, they get there first, but they still get there first and every second counts. He's also worried about Lifestar helicopter service. The state legislature preserved the subsidy for Lifestar after the governor proposed cutting it. So Hartford Hospital will keep both helicopters going. But he thinks someone will try to cut the Lifestar money again. Another big concern we have is the city of Middlefield has a residency trooper. Governor Rell has proposed that she start reducing the budget for that and eventually cut down on that altogether. Now, Middlefield does have a local police force, but every police officer helps. All told then, Matson has a lot to worry about, but he admits he doesn't know what should be cut. Doug Green, NBC 30 News.